still time for Canada to be a part of it. Well, lawmakers say they've heard more discussion of the renewable fuel standard at the USDA, EPA, and from the White House. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock checks in on the wait for year-round E15. Farm state legislators are hoping to have year-round E15 squared away before 2019. The president has directed our Ag Secretary, Sonny Perdue, to, to come up with something on the reed vapor pressure issue so that we can get the E15 out there. And I think they're close to something. They say EPA is working on a compromise that will find middle ground between ethanol interests and the oil companies and refiners who have received millions of gallons in waivers of their renewable fuel obligations. Senator Grassley and I sat down with Acting Administrator Andrew Wheeler, had a really wonderful conversation, maybe from our perspective, on what we would like to to see with ethanol and E15 year round. So there has been talk about a compromise package. But corn growers are pushing back on talk of a compromise. The administration has talked about a package deal. Well, we believe that the package deal for the oil companies probably included 2.25 billion gallons of waivers. We think that they need to, you know, deliver the package for the corn and ethanol industry and, uh, and deliver E15 RVP waiver. Legislators say the regionality of the debate makes it more challenging, especially before an election. We're pushing for uh, full-time, you know, year-round uh, E15, but not at the cost of not being able to expand to E20 or E30. We want to grow our fuels market. Obviously, you know, people in the oil-producing states want to want to keep their keep their market. But lawmakers say they expect the president will make an announcement soon because of required comment periods. Time is running out to get new rules finalized by the end of the year. So we may be talking about something if it was announced today, may be finalized by the first of the year, but it's very necessary to get it done late this year or early next year. On the question of a compromise package, Grassley says he does expect oil interests will be considered, but that he's told the administration ag has given enough. And since the cost of renewable fuel credits has already declined significantly and would decline more, he says, if E15 was available year round, the refining industry has already benefited. For RFD TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Thank you for the update, Sarah. Now, the president has personally been involved in negotiating this issue, and Grassley says allowing year-round E15 would be in line with Trump's deregulatory agenda. Currently, it is not...